if the sincerity and vulnerability are there, then it's easy for people to dismiss it as some kind of PR campaign or something like that. Oh, and that was also getting um, those pickup artist questions over and over, and I get so frustrated. Why do I keep getting these? Like, haven't you been looking at anything recent? Um, why are you asking me about like Way of the Rake, which was like created in 2010? You know, it's like 2018 now. Um, but uh, I think partly because they, if they if they see the new material, they think, oh, it's just what he has to say to whatever, I don't know, like some PR stuff. And they don't believe that this is a real thing. You ready? Let's go! Thing besides my, my courses that I try to do my best on. Besides that, um, getting therapy and sticking to it and committing to it long term instead of getting impatient looking for some kind of result or fleeting feeling out of it, but like actually getting deeper level understanding about yourself and why you do what you do and why you feel what you feel and then and then understanding that in a new way and growing, that's, that's the best thing you can do. Oh, the AirPods don't work, man. No one could ever hear me. You couldn't hear me, this guy could. Will you start using your AirPods with him? Yeah. I mean, it doesn't work. Just be like me. Perception. Comments on the ads that we're running for those that are like, hey man, I gotta be honest, uh, the video comes off kind of cultish, um, especially when you all caps the word follow. And it just seems like there's, I can't, like, there's a lack of sincerity or something. And I could tell, like, yeah. Um, so, because um, I've heard the similar feedback before where it doesn't seem like the guy's got a bone to pick or he doesn't, he's a fat, like, he's not, like, super emotional about it. And I think part of it is that um, the vulnerability there, like, we shot it, like, we know, you know how we shot it, like, I was just focusing on getting the words right. You know, and then um, the acting wasn't stellar, and I wasn't obviously like recreating those emotions. It's it's difficult. Uh, I think the footage is great, but the way I might even like the tonality wasn't like sincere, really, because we we're just I was like trying to remember the words, you know, and we shot it so quick. So, but I think the way forward to connect with people is to show that it's not bullshit. You know what I mean? And. It was interesting because we cleaned it up so that like the old stuff wasn't there anymore because I thought it was just too distracting. But, you know, I have no problems saying it because it's part of my story. But, yeah, it's too distracting. And then um, they're like, some guy went in and found a Google Cache version of the old site. And I think they, they're like, he's like, here, here it is in case he tries to take it out. And I've encountered this at NUS before. And I think what they think is, because this is the way they are, they don't ever change. So they think that I could never really change, and that they think that they, they know who I really am, right? Right, so then they think uh, all of this other material that we've been putting out for the past few years is fake as a way of, I don't know, I don't know what they think, as a way of like peace, making it PC, when really we're doing this other stuff, this misogynistic stuff. And that was, that, that puzzled me, like, so that's the thing, um, I think that if the sincerity and vulnerability are there, 
then it's easy for people to dismiss it as some kind of PR campaign or something like that. Free drinks while we wait for an Uber. Talk to you five minutes ago. I'm oh, sorry, that's true. <laughs> Oh, I had to do a man up. Uh, tell me some freedom and um, keep an email. Let's go. The next day. Bye.